Let's go over to our man, Mr. Daryl Martin at apexinvesting.com. You can check him out each and every day. Daryl Martin, Happy New Year, brother. Happy New Year, man. How are you doing? Good morning, Daryl. Right, man. Yourself? Doing fantastic. Well, we got markets moving, that's for sure. Just a few. Yeah, we got volatility going on like crazy, which is fantastic for the new year. Yeah. And um, have you seen, these are pretty sweet, have you seen the new touch bracket contracts over at Nadex? No, talk to us about them. I, I, I saw yeah. them, but t t tell, us, tell us how they work. All right, so they trade with the market, in lockstep with the market, so you don't have any optionality, anything like that. Yeah. Okay? And, you know, they're capped risk, capped reward. All right. Yeah. But um, they what they do is they list four of them, like, on Monday. Okay. Yeah. And you can go in, and what they do is they put them where they start them off where there's only like, you know, hundred dollars risk on one contract maximum. Okay. Okay. And so let's say it takes five contracts because they're a dollar, you know, a tick. Yeah. Let's say it takes five contracts to equal like an S and P 500 future. Okay. All right. Then, on that contract right there. Then, if you did five of them, you're going to have $500 max risk. Yes. That sounds like a lot of max risk, but if you think about it, you go over and do an S&P 500 future, and let's say you get a day trade, discounted day trading margin, you're putting up 500 bucks anyway, right? Yes. And you're probably not going to take on the full loss. You're going to get out of the trade if it goes against you. You know? So, uh, that's how most traders trade. Well, what these things do, so it allows you to put up that margin, but you don't have to, you can, they, they go through the end of the week. They trade through Friday instead of the current ones that trade just, you know, during the day. Yeah, we get one up right now, right? Yeah, so you can trade all the way through Friday, so you don't have to worry about rollover margin increasing. You know, like at the end of the day and day trading margin expires and it goes up to like six grand or whatever. Sure. So you don't have to worry about margin changing. If you have fast markets, you don't have to worry about margin going up because you know how they'll change the market if things go really nuts. Okay. Like right on you in the middle of a trade, you get a pop-up from your broker or an email yeah. or something. So you don't have to worry about that. You still are getting that great discount because every time one of these brackets, one of the sides is touched, a new one pops up with that same low risk. So whether they're going up or going down, you'll be able to get that on. And, then of course, the one thing, the wording, their touch bracket, the range they trade in, if they hit either side, then it expires out for max profit, max loss. Okay, so okay? it expires if it touches either side of it. So it's kind of like a spread contract we've been dealing with with them, except for the fact that if it hits that price, it just expires for full value on either side. Exactly. Okay. And, nice. and the other difference is there's always one available. So if the market goes real far, like sometimes you don't have a spread. Yeah, yeah. right. Sure. Which is really We're familiar cool. with if you yeah. look at it, right? That, that makes a bit, that's, that's really cool. Because yeah. I, when the market moves too much, either way, folks, that's as it has been recently, right? right. Yeah, you get right. those huge. Right. And, and you don't have to worry about it being like 10 points off of the market because it trades at the same price as the market. Right. Unlike the spreads, you know, because, I mean, they're options. You know, the, the spreads sure. are more like strangles, things like that. And then um, and then the other big thing is they've made an update to NASDAQ. This is one of the things I'm most excited about. It's actually 600 points wide. It ticks in quarters on Nadex. Okay. And so it's $4 a point. Okay, so five of them to equal, you know, NASDAQ future. Yep. But now they actually trade with the market. So if you, like, you know, if you try to trade NASDAQ before on Nadex, it can be a little challenging with the spreads because there's so much premium built into them. Yes. But now you can trade them just like you're trading a future contract, but with that defined risk. Pretty cool. Yeah. 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 So I've been Thanks. pretty excited about them. I've already put a bunch of them on, and um, I've had them go all the way. Like, I had uh, some shorts on that actually went all the way and hit the other side. Um, on the yen and on uh, the Dow already, and um, so just having fun with them. So I, I'm liking them quite a bit. So it's, I think it's great for any kind of trader, whether they're experienced and they just want to have sort of a built-in cap trading plan, um, you know, worst case scenario, or if they're brand new and they're wanting to get in and not have to put a ton of money up and have all that, you know, the scary risk that can come with futures, but still have the same movement because it's yeah. It's we've always like liked the spreads contract. versus yeah. the binaries. Oh, I know you like time. the you know because because of just what you're talking about and yeah, you can see. I mean, just since 9:45, the Nasdaq 100 just went from 65.81 to we're sitting at 65.16. So just exactly man, yeah. And you actually take advantage of all that with the touch brackets. Yeah. That's so sweet. yeah, but yeah. That's um. I've, I've been playing with them. So y'all, I guess y'all have them up. Y'all been messing with them a little bit too, huh? It's well, we just have them up. We haven't, yeah. we haven't traded them yet. No. But that's, yeah, they're, they're, that's they're just now getting the quantity going where they're starting to be tradable. Like there's 20 up now, so on every contract. Yeah, no, I, I can see how that, uh, and we get volatility in the marketplace, so that that yes <laughs> uh, brings it into place, and and I can see how this can be some heavy competition for the futures now. Yeah, that's especially day trading. Yes, because why not? Why not? Do you know what I'm saying? Exactly. It's well, that. even if you're trading like for the week, 
Yeah, yeah I mean, on, you hop in there, and like, and the thing is, like, if you hit your max profit, you know, if you do have a, you know, which is a great problem to have, you just make forty points, right? Then you could, there's always another contract, right? Can you put so, the S and P's up again? I'm just sure. So what? What the is the market or the uh, chart? Uh, no, I just I'm curious as to how the far the spreads. Uh, the spreads uh, so the spreads of oh, forty points. I see. Okay, cool. Yeah, they're so, they're fifty. They're fifty, 50 points wide. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then sixty on Nasdaq. So six hundred on or five hundred on a Dow. And then all the forks ones are two fifty. So which is great because you're putting up fifty bucks for like a mini watt versus yep. two hundred something bucks over you know or, or six hundred bucks um, on like pound dollar with right. a twenty, you know, 20 to one margin. So I think uh, the Nasdaq 100 we have up for the touch brackets. There are 150 points they have in there. So yeah, 150 wide, um, and then four four ticks a point, which is different. Cool on Nadex because gotcha. you know usually they tick in point ones. I got gotcha. you. So they tick in quarters. Nice. So every points, yeah, I got gotcha. you. Cool. And of course and that, that, that that made the the contract a lot more tradable that way. Nice. Yeah, so. and then of course the currencies. I mean, we've had some monster move in these currencies too, and that's that's. Yes. That's like 200, 300 point moves going on in currencies. Right, right. And you know, if you trade, if you're trading currencies, folks, you better be trading Nadex. Because oh man! <laughs> Especially as that March 29th approaches. How about that, man. the crash? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Oh, that was flash yes. crash there, right? My I goodness. mean, that was about as intense as you could get. Yeah. Um, pretty cool, man. And and of yeah. course, we we get the we get the volatility in the marketplace. Uh, and these babies, so it's pretty cool. So if it hits one side, they just automatically pop up another one, right? Yeah, exactly. Every time one is hit, another one pops up with that, you know, low risk, like 20% risk, 80% reward type, you know. And they, uh, they start it. them right in the middle again, right? Is that what they do? If this no, they start them literally like if it's a, let's say it's a S and p Yeah. So they're going to start it with, you know, 10 points of risk and 40 points of max profit. So they're always going to be popping up the low risk contracts for you. Ah, that's nice. They're setting it at the side of the spread that you like. Okay. Risking right. 10 to make well, 40. And, right. Well, and there'll be four up already, so you'll probably already have one in the middle. Sure. Yes. It hits one. I got so, you. That's cool. Yeah, like, so, sort of like there's no re unless you're actually going to take on 10 points of risk, there's no reason to you know take anything larger than that on the touch brackets. Right. So. You got to love it. Listen, folks, you yeah. can reach Daryl every trading day, apexinvesting.com. But, Daryl, thanks so much for the update. Really appreciate it, man. You have a great week and a safe week. All right, you too. Thank thanks, Daryl. Thank you.